The radio plane BTT, known as RP-71 by the company, as WS-426 halves by the United States Navy, and as WS-462 halves by the U.S. Air Force, is a family of target drones produced by the radio plane company, later a division of Northrop. Topic. History In the post-World War II period, Radioplane followed up the success of the OQ-2 target drone with another very successful series of piston-powered target drones, what would become known as the Basic Training Target BTT, family. The BTT designation wasn't created until the 1980s, but is used here as a convenient way to resolve the tangle of designations. The BTTs remained in service for the rest of the 20th century. Topic. Variants Topic. OQ-19, KD, 2R The BTT family began life in the late 1940s, evolving through a series of refinements with the U.S. Army designations of OQ-19A through OQ-19D, and the U.S. Navy name of Quail with designated KD-2R. Early models had a metal fuselage and wooden wings, but production standardized on an all-metal aircraft. Radioplane developed an experimental XQ-10 variant that was mostly made of plastic, but although evaluations went well, it wasn't considered a major improvement over existing technology, and it did not go into production. Radioplane was bought out by Northrop in 1952 to become the Northrop Ventura Division, though it appears that the Radioplane name lingered on for a while. Topic. MQM-33, MQM-36 In 1963, when the U.S. military adopted a standardized designation system, the surviving U.S. Army BTT variants became MQM-33s and the KD-2R1, the only member of the family still in Navy service, became the MQM-36 Shelduck. The MQM-36 was the most evolved of the BTT family, but retained the same general configuration as the other members. It was larger and more sophisticated than the first-generation OQ-2A series, and was powered by a more powerful flat 4-4-stroke McCulloch piston engine with 72 horsepower. The MQM-36 carried Luneburg lens radar enhancement devices in its wingtips that generated a radar signature of a larger aircraft. The radar reflectors Luneburg lens wasn't used by the U.S. Navy as the air search radar interfered with the control signals. Thus the air search radar was not used. Launch was by radio booster or bungee catapult, and recovery by parachute. Topic. MQM-57 Falconer A variant of the BTT designated the RP-71, also known as the SD-1 Observer and later redesignated MQM-57 Falconer, was built for battlefield reconnaissance, with first flight in 1955. The Falconer was similar in appearance to the Shelduck, but had a slightly longer and stockier fuselage. It had an autopilot system with radio control backup, and could carry cameras, as well as illumination flares for night reconnaissance. Equipment was loaded through a hump in the back between the wings. Although it only had an endurance of a little more than a half hour, making it of limited use, about 1,500 Falconers were built and the type was used internationally with several different military forces, remaining in service into the 1970s. Over 73,000 BTT targets were built in all, and the type was used by at least 18 nations. Some may still be lingering in service. Topic. Specifications MQM-36 
Data from Jane's All the World's Aircraft 1966-67 General Characteristics Crew, none Length, 13 feet 7 in 4.14 meters Wingspan, 11 feet 6 in 3.50 meters Height, 2 feet 7 in 0.79 meters Wing area, 18.72 feet to 1.74 square meters Aspect ratio, 7.01 Empty weight, 273 pounds 124 kilograms Gross weight, 403 pounds 183 kilograms Power plant, 1 times McCulloch 0102, 72 horsepower, 53 kilowatts performance Maximum speed, 202 miles per hour, 324 kilometers per hour. Stall speed, 67 miles per hour, 108 kilometers per hour. Range, 207 miles, 333 kilometers. Endurance, 1 hour. Service ceiling, 23,000 feet, 7,000 meters. Rate of climb, 3,500 feet per minute, 17. 8 meters per second. Topic. Survivors MQM-33 Arcat on display at U.S. Veterans Memorial Museum, Huntsville, Alabama. Northrop KD-2R on display at National Military Museum, Sosterberg, Netherlands. A specimen is displayed at the Kolmarden Zoo outside of Norrköping, Sweden. An abandoned specimen is in the vicinity of Elgin, Scotland. XT-581, a SD-1, was given in 1978 by the British Army to the Imperial War Museum Duxford, where it was restored in the 1990s and is now on display. <laughs> <laughs> 